Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Here we are yet again with another ranking video of my monthly palettes. This year I've been doing a ranking every single month with the palettes that I used the previous month. So currently we're going to rank June. And how this works is that I look at all of my usage for the palettes and my most used palette comes in at number one. And then the second most used, number two and so on. And, and I start with the least used palette. So how I count uses is if I use five shades in a palette for a look, that counts as five uses. Uh, that's just because that's how I do it in my spreadsheet. I don't use it less like a day's used. I look at it more like, you know, if I go in and reach like, for example, the first palette I'm going to talk about, I only reach for like one shade one day uh, and it was just like a blending out shade. So that counts as one use. Whereas if I go into a palette and make a whole look, maybe I get five, six, seven uses out of that, if that makes sense. So I'm going to jump straight into it and go start with the first palette. But before I do so, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you in the family. Let's jump into the video. So I have a few more palettes to talk about this month than normal. I actually have used 12 palettes in the past month, which I'm really, really happy with. The first one though, like I said, only has one use, uh, so not the best, and that is my Stone Vibes palette from Urban Decay. So since I finished up Tempera in my Soft Glam palette, I have been reaching into other palettes for like uh, blending out shades, and I decided to reach in for this palette one day. So I did use the shade Good Karma in one look, and uh, maybe I'll keep using it just to you know, keep getting some more uses in this palette, but I have been reaching for a different palette, which I'm going to talk about later, um, to get some more use out of. So maybe I'll switch back to using this one soon, but I just feel like this shade is very, very light. And I think this would suit me better in winter because um, I feel like it's just a little bit too like white undertone right now. And it kind of washes out my lid. So instead of just blending it out, it kind of just like highlights a little bit too much if that makes sense but i definitely go back to this one at some point and reach for it a bit more i didn't reach for any of the other shades obviously because it only is one use coming in in place number 11 i don't know if i mentioned but that first palette was uh, place number 12 so i did reach for 12 palettes this month which i'm really pleased with but in place number 11 we have my hey reindeer palette from odin's eye i was working on the shade christmas ham in my panels eyeshadows and i got three uses out of it in this past month and as you can see i have it pan on it now which is really exciting i did roll this one out in my last update uh, but yeah three uses in the month of june so this one comes in again at number 11. i didn't reach for any of the other shades by the way i have reached for this palette previously this year in my big fat eyeshadow project but yeah this past month i only reached for the shade christmas ham i'm going to talk about the two next palettes together because they have the same amount of uses and that is number 10 and number 9 and these these are the palettes right here so first up we have the red dragon palette from odin's eye uh, in collaboration with judy i'm currently panning two shades in here in my panels eyeshadows we have the shade jade right here and then we have the shade amber i think yeah amber right there and those two shades together sums up to seven uses so that's how many uses i have in this palette in the month of june and um, i haven't reached for any other shades those are the only two shades that i've reached for in this palette i believe that i have three uses on amber and four on jade if i remember correctly but yeah, that is where this palette stands today. So seven uses for this. And then, like I said, also at seven uses, we have this palette right here, which is my Sweet Talk palette from Colourpop. This is one that I had in my Big Fat Eyeshadow project last month. And I did have one look left to create with this palette. Um, and that's why I have some uses in it. I think I had like one look left to make and then I used like a couple shades that I hadn't reached for, I think, for no pen left behind. And that all sums up to seven shades. I think that's how it is. And um, I talked about it in my last Big Fat Eyeshadow project. So if you want to know exactly, I mentioned it there. But yeah, this is the next palette. I haven't reached for it since then. So this one was completed very early in the month. And again, I haven't reached for it since. Then next up, we have that other palette that I talked about that I have reached for now as um, my new kind of blending out shade. And that shade comes from my Nude Light Obsessions from Huda Beauty. Um, and the shade that I've been reaching for is that center shade. You might be able to see that the pan is expanding. I don't know. You probably don't know what it looked like before, but compared to the other pans, this one is definitely the largest and I have expanded a little bit using it that way. But in the past month, I reached for this one eight times as a blending out shade. It's a really, really good shade for me and it's an easy palette because it's very small, so I can keep it in my drawer and use this one as my everyday kind of blending out shade. So I'm really happy with that. Um, I might continue expanding it a little bit, reaching for this one a little bit more, but again maybe i should like rotate through my palettes too we'll see how it goes but i'm going to keep this one in for maybe next month and then switch it out later on we'll see but this one for now has eight uses in june so that was palette number eight so let's move on to palette number seven next and that is another one of my huda beauty palettes this one is the gold obsessions palette and i currently have one shade that i'm planning in my um 
rolling product pan in here. So I've been reaching for that shade and that is the top shade right here, the second shade in the palette. As you can see, I don't have very much left in this one at all. I would have updated my rolling product pan already so you would have seen it in there. But I'm trying to, of course, finish that one. So I've reached for this one quite a bit. If you watched that update as well, you can see how many uses I had because all of the uses from that update came in this past month, so in June. Um, and that is 10 uses. So this one has been used 10 uses in June. I'm definitely going to continue using it because obviously I am panning it. So you can definitely see this palette coming up in my July ranking as well. I don't think I'm going to finish it up in July. So it probably will be two more months where this one is going to make an appearance. And who knows, maybe after that I will start working on one of these two shades, probably most likely this one. But we'll see how it goes. I will eventually try to finish this palette up. This was my Panda palette for last year, so that is why it's so used. Um, I used this for the last six months of 2023. And again, I do want to eventually finish this one up completely, which is why I have rolled this one into my Rolling Parade pan. But yeah, this one comes in again at number seven. Moving on, the remaining palettes will all be things that are currently in projects where I use them quite a bit. So the next couple of palettes are in my Big Fat Eyeshadow project at the moment. And the palette that I'm going to talk about next in space number six it's actually the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today. I'm wearing it for the last time for the third look uh, today. So that's really exciting. Um, and that is my Kaleidos Sashimi City palette. This one is a beautiful, beautiful kind of like soft neutral palette with like a bit of a twist. It um, has some more peachier tones, so kind of more, I don't know, like mustardy matte as well. The mattes are super pretty and the shimmers are even prettier. And I've reached for this palette quite a bit. I love it a lot. As you can see, I already have three pans in this palette. Yes. So half the palette has pan. And yeah, I just really, really adore this palette a lot. It's been an easy one to reach for. It doesn't have the most variety, but it's a beautiful palette nonetheless. And I am going to, of course, talk more about this palette in my Big Fat Eyeshadow project again coming up soon. Actually, have I already posted that when this video goes live? I might have. Uh, let me check my schedule quickly because I think so, right? Yes, I would have already posted that video two days ago, so you can check out my thoughts more on this palette there. But when it comes to uses for this palette, I've reached for it 13 times in the past month, which is really good, especially considering it's only a six pan palette. We are moving on to the top five, and in space number five, we have this palette right here, which is a Pat McGrath palette, as you can see. This is the Bronze Seduction palette, which again is in my Big Fat Eyeshadow project for the month. So I reached for it there and um, I did three exclusive looks with it and obviously maybe I think did I reach for anything else? Yes, I did reach for one of the shades outside of those three looks as well. But this is the palette right here and this one I have reached for 16 times in the past month. It is such a pretty palette. I love this one a lot. Um, yeah, I mean the special shades especially are super pretty. This one actually have a bit of a dip now after using it in those looks, which is nice to see. Um, it also has one of my absolute favorite shades, which is this one right there, the bronzy kind of rose gold shade. Yeah, a really beautiful, beautiful palette. Uh, so I'm happy that I got some use out of it. And again, that was 16 uses. For palette number four, we are jumping up one use because this one comes in at 17 uses. And that is my Aha Honey palette from Colourpop. This is a nine pan palette, which looks like this. And yeah, I was using this one again in my Big Fat Eyeshadow project. So three looks with this one. And I also had this one here in my Expand Those Pans. So this needed five uses. And spoiler alert, I was able to do so. Again, that video would have already gone up, so you can see it there. But five uses for that shade. And obviously, I reached for the other shades as well for those three looks. I do like this palette. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about it more, or I have talked about it more in that update. So you can check it out there. But it, it is definitely one that... Yeah, I, I, I'm going to just leave it to watch that video because it's, yeah, I'm going to talk you through the ranking and the versatility and quality and all that kind of stuff in that palette. But 17 uses, which I'm happy with, but it wasn't my favorite to work on. And then coming in at number three, we have my most used palette for my Big Fat Eyeshadow project and the last, obviously, from that palette as well, or from that project, sorry, um, as well. And that one is the Sendo palette from Natasha Nona. It's very fingerprinty. <laughs> this always happens with the packaging from them because it's very shiny. But this palette looks like this. It's a beautiful kind of warm toned half here and then a cool tone half here. And it gives a lot of variety. It's a really, really stunning palette. And again, I reached for this one for the three looks as well as just overall um, in the month. So this one got 19 uses in the past month, which is almost at the 20 mark, but not quite. Um, it's a really stunning palette. Again, I would have talked more about my feelings about this one in my last video or well, two videos ago. So you can check it out there, but it's a really nice palette. And again, I was happy to get some more use out of it in the past month. So again, that one came in at 19 uses. And for the last two palettes, we're going to step up the uses 
quite a lot. In place number two, we have my Project Level Up palette, which is the Merry Christmas palette from Odin's Eye. I'm not going to open this up and show you the inside because I don't want to spoil anything for that update. So you can check my Project Level Up update, which should be up, I think, in two days. If I remember my schedule correctly, it's, it's going to definitely be up in the next couple of days. So you can check out the progress there. But this one I have used a whopping 38 times in the past month. Um, and I mean, I think that makes sense because I had to hit four pans in this palette uh, to roll it out. I'm not going to say if I have done so or not. Um, so four pans I need to hit in this palette and I also need to reach for every single shade four times. And since this is a 16 pan palette, that is automatically accounted up to a lot of uses. And I did work on this one in the month of May as well. So some of those uses were ticked off in May, but I have worked really hard on this one to try to complete those uses. And not I'm not going to spoil it too much, but uh, I'm filming this one on the last day of June. And I haven't quite hit all my goals yet. So this one is definitely going to make an appearance again in July. Um, but I'm getting very close. So that is where I stand with this palette today. I still have about a week left to work on this one before my update. So, you know, I still think I can hit my goal, but I don't really quite know yet. But I'm not going to show you what it looks like, like I said. Uh, but I'm really, really happy with those 38 uses. And then uh, the last palette that I have to talk about is, of course, my Panda palette, which is always my most used palette which makes sense because it is one that I'm trying to finish. Uh, this one has a lot of uses. Again, it goes up more than double than my second place palette. This one has 80 uses on it in the month of June. Um, again, the Merry Christmas palette had 38, so just more than a uh, double. I'm really, really happy with that. I'm not going to show you the palette again because I actually did franken this palette this morning. I'm looking at it now. Um, yeah, just like a couple hours ago, I did franken this one for a video. I did mention that in my Panda palette update that I was planning to franken it. But again, I'm not going to show you what it looks like because you're going to have to wait for that video, which is going to come up like towards the end of the month. Um, but just know that I did film that one um, very early. Like I filmed it one day after my last update. But yeah, I'm really happy with those 80 uses of this palette. Of course, since I'm trying to pan it fully, um, I do want to get as many uses out of this palette as I can each month. So 80 uses are pretty good. And um, I have said before that I'm aiming to try to get it like 100 uses out of it this month. So a little bit behind, but that's fine. I think I have like needed a little bit of a break from this palette. I'm reaching for other things just so I can hone in on this one again towards the last half of the year. Um, so I'm definitely think I'm going to be able to do that quite a lot. So those were all of the palettes that I had to talk about today. Um, those again was 12 palettes altogether, which I think is my most used palette in one singular month so far, which is really good. Again, some of them had very low uses, like the first two had one and three uses, which is not too much, but I'm still happy that I reached for some more palettes and got some more variety out of the palettes I reached for. But I'm going to wrap up the video here. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. Let me know what your most used palette was in the month of June if you do track it. And otherwise, just give me an estimation which one do you think you reached for the most. Please drop a like down below as well if you can. I would love if you did. It really does help my channel out. And I will catch you in my next one, which will be up tomorrow. Because again, I am posting every day in July. So yeah, hope you're having a lovely day. Talk to you soon. Bye.